That is gonna look sick. What? As you know, recently I purchased this brand new 2022 Yamaha MT-07 and I did a first ride review. If you haven't seen that video, I'll include a clickable link in the top right corner of this video. And I'm gonna tell you this guys, this is one of the most exciting motorcycles that I purchased out of my 12 motorcycles in over 10 years on YouTube. This is my number one though, my 2019 YZ450FX Custom Supermoto, which I did a full build series on. But this is meant to be a dessert bike because it requires so much more maintenance i have to do oil changes in hours so we're giving this one a break and this is going to be my main hooligan city urban cruising uh act a full bike but i'm doing a full build series on this bike it's the blacked out build series guys uh, like i said i have a full akrapovich exhaust carbon this coming i'm taking the headers off and i'm having them professionally ceramic coated black I'm taking the bars off, having that professionally coated black, and the pegs, uh, racing, black racing gas cap there. Uh, the good one, not the cheap one. I have the TST Industries Fender Eliminator Kit, the one where the plates tuck down here with the turn signals built into the tail light. Uh, I'll be doing an ECU flash with my Dyno Jet Power Vision 3, which you can get yourself. I have a link to a lot of this stuff in the description and comment section of this video. In this first installment of this build series, I will be installing the awesome TST Industries Fender Eliminator Kit and Turn Signals. And this bike is going to look even more awesome. And also, I'm going to show you how much weight that I'm going to save by taking this stock crap off. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. All right, here is the Fender Eliminator Kit, guys. Check this out. Look at this, check at this tail light. This has the integrated turn signals. It's smoked out. That's gonna look so sick. Check it out. That is gonna look sick. Also, check out the turn signals here. I'm telling you, TST Industries, man, they make awesome stuff, awesome parts here, guys, for this MTL7 and other bikes as well. My last uh, Fender Eliminator kit I put on was on the MTL9, and it was a TST Industries kit, and it was awesome, man. Um, excellent quality stuff here, guys. This is amazing stuff. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and take this ugly OEM Fender off already. It's been irritating me. In this video, I will only be doing an overview showing me installing this stuff on the bike. I will not be giving detailed instructions. If you want to see how to install everything that I'm putting on this bike today, go to TSTIndustries.com and also their YouTube channel. They have very detailed how-to videos that are awesome. Okay, first step, let's go ahead and remove the seat. comes right off first step is to remove these two fasteners and these two fasteners here with a four millimeter hex key next step we're going to remove these two bolts here with a 12 millimeter socket okay now i got to remove these bolts here we pull up on this rubber piece there okay switch to the 10 millimeter socket and remove these four fasteners here then take the four millimeter hex key and remove these two fasteners here okay now we got to remove these push fasteners here I use a poker tool like this, whatever you call it. Okay, and then this piece here, just gonna pull forward, it comes right out. Okay, and then we got one right here, push pin here too. Okay, now this will just come out here. Be very careful, pull it this way. There, see, whole panel comes out. Okay, now let's do this side here too. And then this just comes off here. See that slides up and out. Now I disconnected the connectors. Now we'll go ahead and remove these four eight millimeter bolts here. Okay. Finally got rid of this ugly thing, man. Okay, this is how much weight you save by removing this big ugly OEM fender. Two pounds, five ounces. You go ahead and remove this tail light here and we'll put on the smoke tail light. Leave that through there. Good. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. Put this mid panel back. Okay, move this stuff out of the way here. Because we're going to have to drill down there. See that sliver there? Bam. That's where the bracket's going to go. So I'm going to drill a hole there and then drill a hole there. Nice. There you go. See, check that out. Yeah. 
It's looking good. As you see, I put the license plate light here and I routed it through here, up through here. With the kit, it comes with these little connectors that splice into the turn signal wiring. Very easy. Okay, I put the panels back on, tighten everything, put everything back. Now it's time to put the front turn signals on, which are really easy. Just remove those two bolts and just go ahead and put in the new turn signals and plug everything up. The kit comes with everything you need. All right. I got the fender eliminator kit on and the turn signals. Check it out. Does that look sick or what? I'm telling you, man, TST Industries, they make the best fender eliminator kit and turn signals and parts for your bike. It's awesome, guys. It's a sick. This is the Elite One Fender Eliminator Kit made by TST Industries with the low mount version. They have two versions, low mount and they have the regular standard high mount that goes here. I like it down here where it's out of the way, it's clean. I've had it on multiple bikes before. I've never been bothered by authorities or anything. They can see it very clearly from the back um, when I have a normal plate. Right now I have a temp tag so you can't really see. Um, and look at the tail light. Look at but this is the uh, sequ uh, programmable sequential TST Industries tail light. With this, this is the smoke. They also have clear. It has integrated turn signals. I'll turn the bike on in a moment, but I just want you to see it without the lights on. That looks sick, doesn't it? Look at it. This looks sick. So clean. So fresh and so clean. Yeah. And look at the turn signals. These are the Mech GTR front turn signals with the halo light modules and I'll turn it on in just a moment but look how small these are look at them compared to the stock signals guys that looks sick and I got the uh, license plate light too you got to get that extra and of course you got the um, the block off plate here awesome okay let's turn the bike on man they like cycle crit turn the bike on we want to see what it look like Check it out, dude. Oh, that's fire. Look at that. Got the license plate light. Look how clean that is. Look at that tail light. That looks sick, bright. Okay, let me uh, hit the brake. Modulating. Isn't that awesome? And that is programmable, by the way. Check it out. I put the turn signal on. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Nice and bright, man. Help keep you safe out there on the streets yeah look at that nice that is so sick look at the front turn signals guys the mech gtrs by tst industries clean look at that then of course you got the daytime running light as well they make the best fender eliminator kit and turn signals man it, it, it fits proper plug and play zero issues no problems easy installation guys like you fought and like i said they have a diy install video where they take you step by step very simple go check it out that's why i didn't do a step by step in this video because they do it better they have technicians that do it so it makes it very easy and straightforward for you like i said go check it out their website and their youtube channel tst industries youtube channel and their website tstindustries.com Looking proper. Wait till I get my full exhaust. I got an Akrapovich carbon full exhaust coming. I'm blacking out the pipes. I'm getting a ceramic coated custom ceramic coated black. It's going to be sick. And I'm going to uh, also do an ECU flash on this. I got barring uh, mirrors coming. I've got, man, I've got a lot more build videos I'm going to be doing on this bike. It's going to be sick when I get done with it. You know how I do. Like I did my awesome custom uh, YZ450 effects, street legal supermoto. Make sure you hit thumbs up if you like this bike, you like this video. It really helps my channel when you do. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of all my videos. I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I've got more build videos coming, guys. Mo more motor vlogs coming. More fun with this motorcycle. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, my gosh. Woo! Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bugout Moto.